Now these are awesome. Two for the price of one. Imagine you're wearing sneakers but suddenly decide to stop at the beach. Don't worry, we got you covered. Ever wondered where your teeth go when you leave them for the tooth fairy? Well, your questions have been answered. You can't unsee these. <laughs> this one has a little pick-me-up on the back. That's nice, I guess. Wait, are these loafers? Ah, I love it when they set me up for the punchline. It's perfect. Whoa, 10 inch heels. They have a warning on them. Yeah, they, they need a warning. That is insanity. Are you gonna actually try walking these lady? Because I'm kind of scared for your life, but also like my dreams of finally being tall can happen. Woo! Okay, I'm 5'5", five five plus 10 inches. That would maybe 6'3". 6'3"? Watch out, NBA. Oh no, she's putting them on. I'm kind of scared. Oh, she's actually walking them. Honestly, I can't even watch that. It gives me too much anxiety. What are these even made of? At first glance, I thought they were like spare Barbie arms and legs, but they're like plastic tentacles. A lot of questions, a lot of questions. When you hate the world, honestly, I feel that right now. This is for you, 2020. If you forgot to get a pedicure, these shoes got you covered. The only problem is like, it doesn't look that real. Ask and you shall receive. Oh no, guys, I gotta be more careful what I wish for. This looks more real and I'm traumatized. I hate it so much. Can it go away? Okay, I can make it go away. We got more painted toes. You could just paint your toes or you could not. Save yourself some Huh? Paint your shoes. Okay, this one has me real confused. What are you charging? Oh, oh wait, is an HDMI cord? Because that makes it even more confusing. You're plugging it into the TV to see what? What are these, suction cuffs? Legend has it. They're still there to this day. Laundry just got a lot easier. But don't worry, I got you, I got you. Honestly though, I can't imagine these fitting much. I think it would only be a load with just one sock. Two, maybe three, four, maybe five max. If you like scrunch them up. Now these look super practical. It would be perfect for librarians, painters, people who work at Ikea. You could just like be taller and reach things from the highest shelf. I don't know what that's like, reaching the highest shelf. I need to like literally rock climb my kitchen to get there. Oh, wait, what? Is this a see-through boot or like a see-through pocket? I can see all your monies. Is there an alarm on this person's shoe? Or is this like attached to their house? Can you control your house with your shoe? I'm here for it. Flipper shoes, because a lady mustn't sacrifice style. Even when she's scuba <laughs> for the Pokemon enthusiast who's also into breaking their ankles. Now these are so sick, but here's the problem. As soon as you finish inventing something like this, the technology is so dated. I mean, who listens to CDs anyways? This is a phone shoe. How would that even work? Like, you'd have to like, hello? And let me just put you on speaker. Beep, beep. Okay, I'm not flexible enough for that. Imagine rolling up to a house party and they say, sorry, you gotta take your shoes off before coming in. Guess you're going home or partying pantless. Hope you remember to wear underwear. I guess that's fashion, like innovating, you know? As if heels aren't hard enough straight. Let's make them round. I really hope that these are bouncy because I can't imagine being able to walk with these. Like they don't even look like they roll. They're just like ice skates, but harder. You look like you're in the movie Tron. What is even? happening. So there's a cast or brace or whatever, a light bulb, and a pretty nice fancy looking boot all in one. Is this person okay? <laughs> do they need help? Whoa, that is one trippy shoe. How do you even put these on? They actually look like they'd be fire on. Am I right? Or have I just been looking at ugly shoes for too long and it's just the best of the bunch? Like, how does it work? Silly woman, I don't work. People work for me. I'm sure you've heard of the expression legs for days, but have you heard shoes for years? I hate this. I was just about to say, check out these pasta shoes. And then I was like, oh, I think they're maggots. So gross. Why? Talk about nightmare fuel. Ugh. Wow, these look so incredibly painful to wear. Wait, what part's the front? Is that the front? Is that the back? What's happening? Wait, 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 wait. I think right here is the heel. So they're like always on their tippy toes? I'm not how I feel about this. Oh, these shoes look like they're little wheelchairs. Aww. Like, did someone buy these or DIY them? <laughs> Perfect for uh, that gamer in your life, I guess. I'm not sure why, but I feel like it'd be kind of oddly satisfying to wear these. Like you would just press on the keyboard buttons when you walk and be like, <laughs> Do you look stupid? Absolutely. But you feel good. Oh, this is functional. It's like a shoe bag. Upon further examination, I noticed there's actually a little trap door to the shoe. This is great. I actually love this. Cause sometimes you just don't want to hold things. You don't want to hold a bag. Sometimes you don't have pockets, especially like my ladies, like most women's clothing. Like we got fake pockets. Why take the time to make a fake pocket? Just go the whole way and make a full one. Next time somebody wants to know how much your shoes cost, they can add it up themselves. I think these are DIY projects. 
not look factory made. And you gotta get to the hoedown real fast. Hey, look, it looks like they're on sale too. I wonder why. Another solution for unpedicured feet. People will be really embarrassed about not having polish on their toes apparently because they went to the trouble of adding covers to cover their toes. Is this person really wearing a weird shoe? Or are they just wearing it wrong? I'm pretty sure it's just backwards. When you like hate being barefoot, so you just tattoo slippers onto your feet. I'm not really sure why this is the thing, but it is. When you're an exotic dancer, but also you gotta take your kid to work day. Gotta keep it child friendly, you know what I mean? Okay, this one has me really confused. Is the candy glued in there or is it just chilling? Those look so uncomfortable. I think she was wearing heels, her feet started hurting, so she saran wrapped her feet and then walked home like this. That's the only possible explanation. That or you lost your shoes, but how does one lose their shoes exactly? Again, pretty functional. Uh, I feel like it would also hurt though if you scratch yourself with that. It looks kind of sharp. Wait, what? This is a DIY project for sure. This looks so dangerous. Wait, are those actually made of ice? I wonder how long these last. Also, how much would these suck to wear? Freezing, disappearing with every step, sliding everywhere. Sounds horrible. Another super practical invention. Who doesn't hate wet feet? First of all, I'm gonna start by saying, mamma mia, because I just couldn't resist. I bet you're wondering, are these shoes real? So I looked into to it. They're actually sculptural art by artist Robert Taylor. Tabor? Artist Robert Tabor. It's a little less crazy and a little more cool. Whoa, mind blown. Are you coming or are you, are you going? Are you walking forward or are you walking backwards? Who cares? It's all the same with these bad boys. Also, great if you don't want people to follow you because they can't follow your footsteps. They don't know which way you're going. Wow, this lady must really love boots. Like really, really love them. Helen, what are you wearing today? Boots. Yes, but what about the pants? What pants do you plan on wearing? Boots. Okay, well now you're just being ridiculous. Mirror plates cover these shoes and reflect whatever surface you're walking on. Kind of cool, but might be a bad idea if you decide to wear, you know, a skirt or a dress. Imagine, one day, the tarantula is just missing. What do you do? Also, how is the tarantula breathing? I'm gonna go ahead and assume these aren't real because this is beyond cruel. Okay, remember I said the tarantula one's probably Photoshop? That's because I've shown you guys this one before, the fishies. I can't get over them though. Are they travel influencers of the fish world or are they trapped in a glass prison waiting for their inevitable death? Or maybe they're just the product of a Photoshop, Photoshop god. god. These are some DIY platforms, lightweight, mobile, perfect for floods. Also, I mentioned it before, top shelves. Okay, now this is amazing. We wouldn't even need street cleaning if everyone just wore these everywhere. Imagine how clean the world would be. Whoa. Saving the world hack. I call these McKicks. Comes with a side of fries that can be worn as socks. So the whole point of Crocs is that they're comfortable and relatively affordable. Then three years ago, designer label Balenciaga, the legend, decided to make it fashion and unveiled these at their Paris fashion show. They went for $850 a pair and sold out instantly. And they're not even comfortable. I love fashion, but some of these things I don't get. That looks like an ankle breaker. Yo, you got the new air squids. They're sold out everywhere. How'd you cop them? Sorry guys, I'm an idiot. Okay, I've seen these before and I hated them just as much as I did then as I do now. I think I've seen pictures of people like actually wearing these too. It looks gross because your toes look like the fish's teeth. And it's really kind of just like not aesthetically pleasing at all. It's not pretty to the eyes. 